بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Hello and welcome my dear students to our lesson of today which is going to be about Revision 5A, 5B, 5C and 5D This lesson is for the first secondary stage from the second semester prepared by Amna Madkhali and presented by Yasser Nakhli Today inshallah we will revise using prepositions and infinitives we will revise vocabulary related to health and vocabulary easily confused. We will give advice using should, shouldn't, had better, had better not. We will practice simple present passive. Now, try this tongue twister, please. Okay, 5A, how are you feeling? A. Read the sentences and do the crossword, please. Okay, let's start. Number one, prescription. Let's write down prescription here. Number two, surgery. Let's write surgery here. Number three, allergic. Allergic Number four Patient Patient And number five Appointment Appointment Okay now complete with the correct preposition please Okay, let's start. Number one, over. Number two, off. Number three, on. Number four, down. And number five, up. C. Complete the dialogues with the full or bare infinitives of the verbs in the brackets. Take your time and try to complete these sentences, please. Okay, let's start. I need to go to the chemist to buy some pills for my pack. Oh, when did you manage to visit Dr. Franklin? I didn't have enough time to visit him. I have too much work to do these days. But you can't get pills without a prescription. You must call him. I guess you're right. What are you trying to make? A chocolate cake. Really? Will you let me help you? Sure. Do you know how to make a cake? Not really. Just tell me what to do. Could you bring me the sugar and the butter, please? First, right away. Okay, now look at the pictures and answer the questions. Look at these pictures, then answer these questions. I would like to make an appointment. Why did he call the doctor's surgery? He called the doctor's surgery to make an appointment. This is an example. Now try to answer the next one, please. Okay, the check your answers. Number two, why is Jack going to the supermarket? Jack is going to the supermarket to buy some coffee. Number three, why did he go to the hospital? He went to the hospital to see Dr. Mahmoud. Number four, why is he going home? He is going home to get some rest. Now E, choose A or B. Okay, let's start. What are your symptoms? B. I have a sore throat at a temperature. 
Number two, I need to lie down for a while. Why? What's wrong? I feel very dizzy. Three, what do you usually do when you have a cold? I drink lots of fluids. Four, is eight o'clock convenient for you? Let me check my schedule. Okay, 5B, when in danger, A, circle the correct words, please. Okay, let's check your answers. Number one, a hurry. Number two, sank. Three, bill. Four, crew. Five, down. Number six, location. Seven, four. And number eight, common. B, choose A, B, or C. Choose A. B or C from here. One, two, three, four, and five. Now complete these sentences, please. Okay, let's start number one. Going. Number two, to C. Number three, walking. Number four, to look. And number five, to see. Number six, to get up, seven, move, eight, wasting, nine, walking, and number ten, B. Okay, now let's go to see, read the dialogues and complete the sentences. Number one is an example. Okay, let's start. Billy hates watching football matches. Number three, Albert enjoys playing computer games all day. Greg thinks the laptop is worth buying. Five, Linda wants to have pizza for dinner. Six, Ernest's coffee is too hot for him to drink. Now, D, listen to three dialogues and answer the questions that follow. Choose A, B, or C. Listen carefully, please. One. What are you doing? I'm writing in the sand to signal for help. What for? We're sitting on a beach next to the hotel. I'm <laughs> just having some fun. You should write SOS, you know. You can read it upside down. That's true. Anyway, save us is too long. OK, OK. I'll write SOS. Two. What a lovely day to be sailing. Quick, come and see. I think there's a ship in trouble. Where? Over there. Let me see. It seems OK. It's not sinking or anything. Keep looking. There's a flashing light. Yes, you're right. And it's Morse code. Is it an SOS signal? Yes, get on the radio. They need help and fast. Three. Ah, are you the new member of the crew? Yes, sir. And what's your name? Alex J. Thompson. Is that Thompson with a P? No, sir. And what does the J stand for? John? It's James, actually. OK. Welcome aboard. OK, let's start. Number one, C, save us. Number two, they saw a flashing light. 
and number three B Alex James Thompson five C a word of advice now complete the dialogue with the word in the box this the word you need to use okay let's start number one beats number two speaking three stress four advice five breath six focus seven suggest eight deal B. Read the situations and the prompts below and write sentences giving advice. Use should, shouldn't, had better, or had better not. Okay, let's start. Number one. She had better see a doctor. She shouldn't eat chocolate. Number two, she had better call her dentist. She had better not be late again. Three, he shouldn't eat too much. He had better stay at home. Four, he should tell the truth. He shouldn't lie again. C. Complete the, t the letters with the correct sentences. Okay, let's start. Number one, B. Number two, G. And number three, F. Number four, E. Number five, A. Number six, C. And number seven, D. 5D in the news. Complete the text with the present simple passive of the verbs in brackets. Okay, let's start. Number one is sent. Number two, are collected. Three, are taken. Four, is arranged. Five, are sent. Six, are organized. Seven, are put. Eight, are given. Nine, are delivered. Now, look at the pictures and use the promise to write sentences in active and passive voice. Okay, let's start. Number one. Linda made some biscuits yesterday. Some biscuits were made by Linda yesterday. Number two. Jessica carried all the bags last Saturday. All the bags were carried by Jessica last Saturday. 3. Keith delivered the box yesterday morning. The box was delivered by Keith yesterday morning. 4. Abdulaziz bought two plane tickets last week. Two plane tickets were bought by Abdulaziz last week. Now, see, circle the correct words, please. Take your time and answer these questions, please. Okay, let's start. Number one, are closed. Number two, wasn't put out. Number three, surrounded. Number four, is built. Number five, was cancelled number six were written seven is driven eight don't wear 
9 were injured. Now D, put the dialogue in the correct order. Write 1 to 8. Okay, let's start. Number 2, there was a car accident an hour ago. Number 3, that's terrible. Where were you when it happened? 4, I was standing right here. 5, was anybody injured? Fortunately, all 4 people are alive, but they are seriously injured. 7, did help arrive on time? 8. Yes, the police and the ambulance arrived within minutes. Okay, today we learned revise using prepositions and infinitives, revise vocabulary related to health and vocabulary easily confused, give advice using should, shouldn't, had better, had better not, practice simple present passive. These are the references to student book, workbook, teacher's guide, and Google Clip Arts for pictures. For more information and listen, please do not hesitate to call us on our website, our Twitter account, or our phone number. Thank you, and hope to see you again. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.